I've got something super interesting for you today. I'm gonna show you how you can turn a boring, flat looking scene like this into something like this. Dark, moody, gritty and cinematic because that's what we all want, right? A cinematic look and all you need is your camera and one cheap light. That's it. Welcome in my bathroom and well, I chose the bathroom because it has that old fluorescent light above the mirror and a fluorescent light, you know, it will give you that dark gritty cinematic look that I really like. Now, of course, you don't need a fluorescent light. You can just use the available lights in your bathroom. But this is the perfect situation to show you how you can manipulate existing lights just by using your brain a little bit. Right now, all the lights are on, the fluorescent light, but also the main light here above me. And well, you can see it, right? It looks way too bright, too flat. The tiles there behind me, for example, I would like them to be darker so that the focus is more on me. So let's start by turning off the main light. There, looks a lot better already, but still, I think the tiles back there could be even darker and the fluorescent light, because it's right in front of me, it's lighting my face very evenly. There's no depth, no shadow or anything. I would like to have at least a little bit of shadow on the left side of my face. Not too much of course, because the light is in front of me and it would look weird if there's a dark shadow on this side of my face. But just slightly, you know, to create a little bit more depth. So how do I do that? How do I make this fluorescent light look less bright without having to call an electrician or without having to cover it up? Well, I put an extra LED panel over there next to the mirror and I'm going to set that LED panel, the output, all the way to the maximum. Let me do that first. Okay, so I turned on the LED panel and it's all the way to the maximum, 100%. So what it's doing now is it's overpowering the fluorescent light. So of course everything looks way too bright now because you know I added an extra light at 100% and the exposure is set for just the fluorescent light. So all I have to do now is adjust the exposure on my camera and I'm gonna set the exposure for the LED panel not the fluorescent light. So in a way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna underexpose for the fluorescent light. So it's gonna look dimmer, less bright. Does that make sense? If I set the exposure now for the brightest light, then the light that's less bright is gonna look even less bright. Wait, that, that does make sense, right? Yeah, I think it does. And also, because the LED panel has a little softbox with a grid, it's pointed at the right side of my face, not the background, just my face here. It's also gonna create a little bit of shadow on the left side of my face. Not too much, but just enough. You know what, let me adjust the exposure with the ND filter and then you'll see what I mean. You'll see that it will look a lot moodier, darker. Yeah, exactly what I'm looking for. I guess something like this. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect now, but I think you can see it now, right? It looks a lot darker, a lot moodier. That's the key light now. So that's actually what I did. In the beginning, the fluorescent light was the key light and the only light. But now I moved the key light status from the fluorescent light to the LED light. So my LED light is now the key light. And I set the exposure for the key light. So in short, this light is gonna look a lot dimmer and because this light is also lighting the background, the tiles, also the tiles in the background will look a lot darker. And now the focus really is on me. The light is focusing on me. I hope it makes sense. You have to use your brain a little bit. Overexpose, underexpose, you know? Let me stand here like I did before with something like that, right? And then there's of course color grading, but I've said this before, the key to getting a cinematic look is light 
and color grading is just the cherry on top. And guys, don't worry if you're still learning how to color grade, just keep it simple. All I did here was apply a LUT and then I tweaked the colors a little bit to make it look like I wanted it to look because the LUT itself turned out to be a bit too much. And then on top of that color grade, I also added a video overlay of some mist moving around and some film grain. Now, that video overlay of the mist I'm not sure if it really works, you know, I was trying to mimic a steamy bathroom and I guess it works, but it's not the same as a real steamy bathroom, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, that's it. A camera, a cheap light and five minutes. That's all you need. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.